so this is the second of the Sunday shot updates. Okay, so something we all have to deal with all the time is the carbon and resin buildup on our blades. Now I've found that if you keep your blade clean, I'm preferring to use an oven cleaner these days, but there are proper blade cleaners on the market, you'll probably get six cleans before you even need a sharpen. And it is an absolute dramatic difference the performance of a really clean blade. And I've got also got some stuff I'll show you, um, Super Glide. Uh, again, that puts like a film on the blade and that really helps, no sort of resin left on the wood. What I will say is the process of cleaning the blades is very, very messy. And what comes off, it seems to just get into everything. So I choose to do it on my old concrete floor outside. I've seen little splats of brown stuff all go over the shop, even on pieces I was working on. So I'm gonna move outside, we'll give this a clean with some uh, oven cleaner and I'll show you how it performs. This is a ripping blade from my TS75. Put that on there a bit, let that soak. Leave that to soak for 10 minutes. I'll get onto the, um, my main ripping blade for my uh, sliding saw. Okay, so if we take a look at this blade, there's a lot you can do without actually sharpening. Now, this blade's not been used that much, but it did get some build-up on it. It's quite a lot of build-up on there. So, I've tried all sorts of products, and I've actually found in Poundland, this is in the UK, this oven cleaner. Now, some people don't like using products that are non-water-based, because uh, maybe it's a bit caustic, but this is a really good one. You're not going to use a lot of this, and if you watch what happens just in a few seconds, The brown is already coming off there. I'll spray a little bit more, you'll see. There you go. And that's hardly, you could leave this now. And the difference is amazing. And that was a pound. I've tried the really expensive ones and I don't find they work as well. Now what I usually do is I will give that a scrub, leave it for about 10 minutes, turn it over, give it another little scrub and then wash it with some clean water and wipe it. And you can do that about five or six times, maybe even more, before you need a sharpen. You'll be surprised at the difference with just giving it a good clean. Now we'll give that a wash. My taps need to be covered in plant life, but anyway, we'll give that a quick wash. So I've just given that a quick wipe and you can see, let's try and get the light, the difference, all that build up's gone. Really good, just a pound for the spray. I use so much, you can just see how much cleaner it is, even though, even though I didn't go through each tip, it's cleaned all of that. Okay, so that's been soaking for 10 minutes and this blade was in quite a bad way. I think I was ripping the, um, the Western Red Cedar and it wasn't quite seasoned and it left quite a lot of residue. And if we look here now, I'll give it a wash. That's come out really well, considering the state it was in when I left it. I don't usually leave my blades in that much of a state. I must have forgotten about this one. I put it on the shelf. You can see some staining from how it's thing, but the tips are razor sharp again. So after you've cleaned it, I've got this stuff called Super Glide. It's a bit expensive, but it's really worth it. It's a tiny little spray of that. And then that's it then, that's as good as new. So that's that one done. Okay, so that's it for this Sunday's shop update. I hope you're enjoying it. If you've got any questions, please leave them. I'll do my best to answer everything as usual. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.